Hello! Forecaster here, and we're going to have a look at how you would have a locomotive back into a line of carts to couple to them and then drive off. So, the one of the recent updates to Railcraft added the ability to have the limiter track set the locomotive speed to reverse, which you couldn't before. So you have the four forward speeds, uh, four, three, two, and one arrows, and then you have the reverse, which is this one. So we can simply have a locomotive come in here, it will turn into this track here. When it reaches this limiter track, it will be set to reverse. It will then back up back down here, then couple to these carts here, which are all connected already, uh, by these two uh, coupler tracks here. Um, the locomotive will then continue backing up, and it will back onto this um, other limiter track that is underneath this cart here, which is set to forward, of course, and then it will pull the carts over to infinity over in that direction, which is not at all a hole to the void. So we can test this with this locomotive here. I'll set it to a lower speed and it's going to do exactly what I described. Pretty simple. Yep, honk on you too. So there is a um, there could be a problem with this setup if you have a locomotive that already has carts attached to it. So we're going to replace these carts here and link them up. Now we have two potential problem spots in this setup here. And if we take this or let this take off going to notice the first one is right here um, and you can probably tell what happened pretty easily um, so the locomotive got set to reverse before the carts cleared the switch here which meant it wasn't able to get into this track but just went back the way it came so the first problem area is this of course you need to have enough distance between this limiter track and the switch um, to allow the carts the potential carts behind the locomotive to clear the switch to allow it to reset so the cart or the train can back up into here but that is of course an easy fix so all you need is extend this track for as long as you need. You don't really need the buffer uh, track there, it's just to make it look pretty. Um, so now uh, the carts will clear the switch before the locomotive goes into reverse and they will be able to back into here and they will couple. Now the second problem isn't going to manifest here because I've already um, fixed it, but it's obviously the distance between this limiter track and the end of the track here. And it seems I forgot to couple the last cart. Whoops. Um, so for example, we push this ahead a little bit and put a buffer here uh, it's going to limit the train to about two carts less so if I set this to back up now the cart the train is going to smush up against this buffer as much as it can but the locomotive isn't going to be able to get to this uh, limiter track so it's not going to 
be set to forward and be able to head off in that direction. Uh, it's, it's just going to sit here trying to go backwards. So you need to leave enough space so the locomotive can get to the limiter track. Like so. And then everything will work. So that's pretty much the only thing you have to take into consideration. Um, so you leave enough space here. Okay. And here, um, for the maximum uh, train, le train length that you want to allow to get in here. Um, now, of course, that generally isn't more than 10 carts, so it should be pretty easy to do. And that's pretty much all you need. So, uh, I guess that's it. I'll see you in the next video.